Hello everyone. I hope everything is great. So today we will learn how to display the YouTube video in your HTML page. In earlier video, we discuss the video tag so that we can run the videos in our HTML page. But that video tag have some limitations like uh, that video tag support only few of the video formats like mp4 ogg webm right so uh, if you want to run any video on your web page you can take help from the youtube how you can upload the video you need to create the video then sign on on the youtube and upload your video youtube will generate one id for that and you can use that ID for displaying the video in your web page. So today we discuss this thing. So for this, I created this HTML file and adds one heading and open this file in the Chrome browser. So for displaying the video in our HTML page, we use the iframe. We discuss iframe tag in HTML in my earlier video. If you did not watch that video, I will provide the link in description section. You can check it from there. <coughs> so let me add one iframe and give the width. Let me give 500 pixel and height 400 pixel. <laughs> and as you know we need to give the src attribute here and inside this src attribute we can give some html page url or maybe some uh, web url so same we give the youtube video url so how we can give the url we need to add the youtube url youtube.com then you need to add the slash embed this string and you need to give the id of your video so as we created earlier the video on iframe so i have the id of that video you can get this video from your youtube account and just copy this id and paste it here this way okay now i save this page and go to the browser and refresh the page you can see here this video is added into the html page with this iframe tag and here the title and other things you can play now this video on your html page let me try to play this video yes now this video is play in my page and i have all the controls here if i want to unmute this this is in the unmute situation if i want to mute i can set the volume i can maximize the screen i can play or pause this if i refresh this let's what happens this way so uh, this mutation uh, like uh, have the history of the page if earlier this page is in the unmute state then after refreshing the page it will be on unmute otherwise it will be mute so currently it's unmute and now if i refresh the page my youtube video will have the unmute state you can see and if i mute this and now refresh the page and try to play my video now it's in mute state okay you can also handle this thing 
by passing some parameters with this URL. Let's discuss how we can do this. So after this URL, you need to add the question mark symbol and then you can add the parameter mute for the mute or unmute and it have two value 0 and 1 0 is for unmute and 1 is for the mute so if i add the 1 and save this page currently my video is un uh, unmute and now if i refresh the page it should be mute because i give pass the parameter mute here you can see this unmute. Currently, when I refresh the page, my YouTube video is not play automatically. We can handle this thing as well by passing the parameter auto play. And if you want to add the multiple parameter, you need to add the add end symbol between all the variables, and then you can add the another parameter it again have the two values 0 and 1 0 for not playing and 1 for auto play so if i add 1 and save this thing now go to browser and refresh you can see my video is auto play see it's by default mute and my video is in autoplay mode. You can loop the continue, uh, loop the video so that your video will be play again and again. So currently if you try, if I go to the end of the video, after playing this video, <coughs> my video just stopped. You can see my video just stopped. If you want to add the loop or you want to repeat this video play again and again, you need to pass two parameters for this. As we discussed earlier, we need to add the ampersand symbol here. Then we need to add the playlist parameter first. And here you need to give the ID of your video this way and again you need to pass the parameter loop again this loop parameter have two values 0 and 1 so 1 is for the loop let me save this thing go to browser and refresh now my video autoplay as we add the autoplay 1 i pass the mute 1 so my video by default mute and if i go to the end of my video see what happens so after completing this video it starts again because we pass the loop and playlist attribute here so this way you can add the youtube video on your page as well you can manage the controls of this youtube by passing the controls parameter how just add another ampersand symbol or end symbol and add the controls attribute again this controls have two values zero and one so if i pass the zero then no control will be displayed now if I refresh, you can see my video loading and controls are not visible but yes my video is in the autoplay mode and muted. So if I remove the mute and autoplay parameter from here then we know my video is playing or not so autoplay will not work here if i tap on play then controls are not visible 
and my video is start playing just stop this this so that's all about how you can add the youtube video in your html page so this way you can overcome the uh, formatting restriction this way you can add any of the video in your html page and by passing these parameters you can customize this also you can set the width and height of the high frame so that your container will display this so if you have any question on this video then comment on this video i will definitely provide the answer and if you like my video then please like it share it and subscribe our channel for now that's it goodbye